Hello, in this video we're going to look at some general equilibrium analysis. Uh, in particular, we're going to solve for the contract curve. So we have an, an exchange economy with two consumers or two traders with utility functions given by the following. Notice both traders have the same exact utility function. And between the traders, they own 100 units of good X. So units of good X um, that trader A has plus units of good X that trader B has must sum to 100. And also between the traders, they own 50 units of good Y. So units of good Y from trader A plus units of good Y from trader B sums to 50. And our goal is to derive the contract curve. So the first step is to find each trader's marginal rate of substitution, which is going to be defined as a marginal utility of good X divided by the marginal utility of good Y. Given trader A's utility function, the marginal utility of good X is the partial derivative of trader A's utility function with respect to good X. So we bring down the 1 half in front here from the X term. Then it's going to be 1 half minus 1, leaving us x raised to the minus 1 half power. And we don't do anything to good y. The marginal utility of good y is found by taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good y. So we got the 1 half term here on good y. I'm going to bring that down in front. And then 1 half minus 1 here in the exponent gives us the following result for the marginal utility of good y. So again, our marginal utilities for good x and good y. And now we're just going to divide one by the other. So here's the marginal rate of substitution for trader A. In the, in the numerator, we have the marginal utility of good x. In the denominator, we have the marginal utility of good y. We'll notice that the one-halves cancel. So in this intermediate step, the one-halves cancel. And then following the rules of exponents, I bring down this x to the minus one-half in the denominator. So that just gives us x. And I bring a, then I bring this y to the minus one-half power in the denominator into the numerator. And that just leaves us with y. Because trader B has the same exact utility function as trader A, the marginal rate of substitution for uh, trader B just going to be a similar expression. Just change the subscripts. Step three. The, on the contract curve, the marginal rate of substitution for trader A will equal the marginal rate of substitution for trader B. In other words, their indifference curves of each trader will be tangent to one another. So setting the marginal rate of substitution for trader A equal to the marginal rate of substitution of trader B, we get this result. Um, doing some cross multiplying, multiplying both sides through by x subscript B, multiplying both sides through by x subscript A gives us this result. And then note about our endowments. Um, so the amount of good X for trader A plus the amount of good X from trader B has to sum to 100. So solving this for X subscript B, we get this result. And then I'm going to substitute in this expression over here where I see X subscript B. I'm going to plug in 100 minus X subscript A. But before I do that, also recall that the sum of the goods for trader A plus trader B for good Y equals 50. So again, solving this for Y subscript B, we get 50 minus Y subscript A. I am going to substitute that into this expression over here where I have this Y subscript B term. So I'm making our substitutions. So again, for X subscript B, I'm putting in 100 minus X subscript A. And then for y subscript b, I'm plugging in 50 minus y subscript a. Now I'm just going to simplify this and solve for xa. So multiplying 
um, what's in parentheses here on the left hand side through by y subscript a we get this and then on the right hand side multiplying through what's in parentheses by x subscript a we get this you'll note that we can cancel these terms here this x minus x y minus x y appears on both sides leaving us with this result and then dividing through by 50 we have the contract curve so we have a straight lined contract curve all right uh, that's it i hope you found this video helpful